Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, today is a bit of a doozy one, so I say let's just jump on in because whenever we see something like this, it is always a doozy. So this is coming from Radar and this was actually last night. So, AH pleads for help from Judge in $1 million court battle over the Johnny Depp judgment. AH has demanded the legal battle with her insurance company over the judgment awarded to Johnny Depp be dismissed, despite her insurer refusing to drop the case. To be honest with you, I actually find that absolutely hilarious because, well, her insurance company told her if you're found out that you did it with malicious intent, which she was, then they're not going to do it, which is exactly what's happened. So, according to court documents obtained by Radar, the 37-year-old actress said New York Marine and General Insurance Company won't drop the lawsuit they filed against her, despite the Johnny Depp matter being resolved. As Radar.com previously reported, the insurance company, New York Marine and General, sued AH in July of last year, only weeks after a Virginia jury found her liable for defaming her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, and was ordered to pay $8.3 million, it was actually 10.3, uh, 10.35. However, they had taken into account the two million that she would have had to pay him. She demanded that the insurance company cover a portion of the verdict. New York Marine in general acknowledged that she did have a one million dollar liability policy that included coverage for defamation. However, the insurance company said the policy had a provision that said New York Marine in general was not liable if she was to have been found to have willfully committed the wrongful conduct, which she was. And I think that is absolutely hilarious because she's like, well, no, it's all settled. We shouldn't have to do this now. No, sorry. You were found out to do it actual maliciously and willfully. So they're not going to let up. New York G uh, Marine and General claimed the jury found her actions were both willful and malicious. Therefore, they demanded the court order it was not responsible for covering any portion of the judgment owed to Depp, which is true. She fired back at the lawsuit by filing her own countersuit. She loves doing that because it's almost like she thinks, if I sue them as well, if I countersue them, they're going to be like, oh no, we're not going to do it. No. You're not that clever, Amber. You're not. You just aren't. She said New York General and Marine was on the hook, despite its opposition. She claimed the insurance company offered to pay her legal bills up to $1 million, with no restrictions. Well, we know exactly that it was a lot more than $1 million just for, the, uh, for hiring the law firm. We know that. In December 2022, she announced she had reached a settlement with Johnny Depp, as a result, the entire legal battle and appeal was called off. The legal battle, no, is all over and done with. It was the appeal. You know, she's like, I'll, I'll withdraw the appeal. I'll pay you one million asset. Sources said the Aquaman actress paid her ex one million to end the ordeal, far less than what she was ordered to pay him. The amount was said to be covered by another of her insurers. How many insurance companies do you think she has? She's bound to have quite a lot, isn't she, because of what she does. In a recent court filing, she said despite the settlement with Johnny Depp, New York Marine and General refused to drop the case, despite there being no issues to argue. She pleaded with the judge to dismiss the case. She said, There is nothing left to dispute, but New York Mar uh, Marine refused to stipulate to dismissal of it claims. The lawyer argued, Currently, New York Marina faces no real or threatened economic harm from her, as she has withdrawn her claim for indemnity and is not seeking any defense costs from New York Marine, unless and until this court's dismissal order is reversed on appeal. A judge has yet to rule. Last year, following the settlement with Johnny Depp, she wrote, Women shouldn't have to face this or bankruptcy for speaking her truth, but unfortunately it is not uncommon. This is the thing, when, she, when anyone says, I'm speaking my truth, her truth, his truth, sorry, that your opinion or what you think happened, no, that's not going to work. doesn't matter who you are, male, female, whatever. The truth is only what matters. 
That is it. Not yours, not his, not hers. None of it. Like I said, that's basically a story that you formed in your brain. That is it. AH said the deal was an opportunity to emancipate myself from something I attempted to leave over six years ago on terms I can agree to. I have made no admission. This is not an act of concession. Yes, it is. There are no restrictions or gags with respect to my voice moving forward. I make this decision having lost faith in the American legal system, where my unprotected testimony served as entertainment and social media fodder. Now, the funniest thing with her saying that is she lost faith in the American legal system. So why did you counter sue someone else if, you, if, you, if you've lost faith, faith in the American justice system? Yeah, no. It's just her trying to save face, and it didn't work then, and it's not going to work now. And with this as well, with her saying, I have made no admission of this, well, yeah, you did, because if you, if you thought that you were literally in the right still, you would have gone forward with the appeal. I don't care who you are. If I lost a court case and I knew I was in the right and they were wrong, I would appeal it. If they said, oh, well, we'll do it like this, I'd be like, no, sorry, I'm right, you're wrong. But no, she didn't. When they said, we'll do this, done. That's it. That is literally it. You can ask anyone, I'm telling you right now, if they believe that they are in the right and they appeal, they would appeal and they wouldn't just give it up like that, like she did. It was literally a matter of days. And the appeal and everything else, and all of a sudden, oh, yeah, I'm dropping the appeal. I'm only going to pay a million dollars. Yeah, that doesn't work. That is, it's just really, really funny to see that this has kind of happened this way. But we only got two comments as well, though. My memory may be faulty, but I believe that the, the, the uh, judge did not sequester the jury. There was an avalanche of support for Depp. This would certainly have affected the jury's decision. Not really. She lied. She got on the stand and she was just like, uh, I wrote it about him. Uh, I mean, uh, people like him. That's what she did. Just remember, she said her truth, not the truth, because as we all know, she wouldn't know the truth a bit better. Yeah, you know, there's that there. But there's so many other things as well, as you can see, I have to go back up by here. More on her, like, she looks happy, okay, yeah, she's insured, paid one million. Amber Heard tell all, actress debating, writing a book. But the thing is, though, if she does write a book, she is screwed if she mentions Johnny Depp, the trial, and what he supposedly did to her. If she goes forward with it like that, he could sue her literally for everything. Again. And he will win, because in the court of law, it's found out that she defamed him. If she brings that back out in a book, and basically goes, oh, well, he did this to me, or he did that to me, yeah, sorry, you've already lost because you defamed me once, you defamed me twice, I'm going to sue you again. That's what would happen. And I actually find that absolutely hilarious because she is the type of person to be like, well, that's over and done with. Ooh, guess what he did to me? Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to write a book on this. She's that stupid that she would do it. But she would get sued through the roof. She wouldn't be able to afford to live in a cardboard box under the bridge. But that's what we got today, ladies and gents. Let me know uh, what you think about this down below. It's... I find it really funny that she would go out of her way and state, yes, I have lost faith in the American justice system. And then a couple of weeks later, she's like, I'm going to sue you now as well then. You know, it just doesn't doesn't ring true. It just doesn't add up. But if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you all very soon.